Bart finished packing my suitcase. No, too stuffy, but I am almost done. Please hurry up because I really don't want to be late for my trip. Don't worry, I'll hurry up. Don't worry, I'll hurry up. Okay, that works. But who is Noking? I can't tell you that. You can go see. Okay, sweetie. Hi, Luke. Hi, Amy. You came to see your girlfriend. Of course. Besides, where is she? She's in the bedroom. She will come to see you later. Okay, can I sit down? Of course. Make yourself at home. Okay. I will go inform her of your presence. Thanks. Hi, my girlfriend. Hi. Wow. You are radiant day by day. Thank you so much not lying to you. I am really envy you. Don't worry. A nice day will come when you will find a prince charming like me. I certainly hope so. You know, I couldn't talk too much with you because I'm packing my husband's suitcase. He still wants to travel. Of course, you're going to have to come back later because I wouldn't like him to be late because of me. Okay, okay, I'll see you again in the evening so great. We say to each other oh tonight. Yes, tonight. Finally, she left now I have to hurry up. My love I am going. But I haven't finished packing yet. I did it when you were talking to your girlfriend. Okay are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? No, sweetie. I haven't forgotten anything. Okay, that works. I'm going to miss you a lot. Same as me. But don't worry, we'll be in touch. Take care of yourself and see you soon. See you soon, Luke. So son, have you heard from your sister? No, mom. Since she started a relationship with her billionaire, she doesn't even calculate me anymore. Even when I call her, she doesn't pick up my calls without denying it. I don't even recognize my sister anymore. I just hope she is doing well where she is. I hope so too. For several hours, I call my girlfriend to come over to my house so we can chat. However, her phone is off. Really, I am so bored at home. I would go see her at her house, just to empty my brain, because she is very funny. I really love it. She is like a sister to me. I am very happy because it will be hot tonight. I am very happy because it will be hot tonight. So my oxygen. Did you like the surprise I made to you? Of course, my beauty. You are very special. I love your surprises. Okay, you know, today is today. We are going to spend an unforgettable evening. That is what I would like to hear. Just ask anything and it will be given to you. Okay, I would like you to leave my girlfriend and officially start a relationship with me. I'm going to think about your proposal. Gives me a few minutes. I'm coming. Okay, my beauty takes your time, because the evening is for us. I don't know why my girlfriend left the door open. Is anyone there? Well, I would go look in the other rooms in the house to see where she is. Luke had just fallen into my net once and for all. Starting today, we won't be separating. I had just diverted his attention thanks to the product I had purchased. Luke, you are mine and mine alone for the rest of your life. She's not here either. Amy, can you hear me? But where is this girl hiding? I can still hear footsteps. I would quickly go and see her bedroom. What? Luke, what are you doing here? Weren't you supposed to be on a business trip? Of course. So what are you looking for in my girlfriend's bedroom? It's up to me to ask you this question what are you looking for here? Oh. I understand everything. So you were cheating on me with my best friend. I won't allow something like this to happen to me. What is going on in my house? It seems that the so-called girlfriend came in without my knowledge. If I knew she was coming here, I wasn't going to leave my door open. However, 
I have already prepared myself. It is time for her to know that I am going out with her man. Come on, let's go, I'm going to see her. How could you do that to me? I trusted you, but you had just betrayed me. I could never imagine that you, my best friend, could stab me in the back. Let me tell you that I am not your friend. You were the one who thought we were friends. Shut up. You can do anything you want to me. The message is that now Luke is mine because I completely diverted his attention. I don't know why he stayed in the room. I will go see him and tell him my four truths. Luke, why are you doing this to me? Why are you calling me your heart when you were cheating on me with my girlfriend? You know, it's good that you finally found out the truth. I wanted to tell you that as of today, it's over between me and you. From now on, I want to stay with Gloria because I love her. I would ask you to pick up your luggage and leave the house. No, Luke, don't tell me that. Have you forgotten that we have to get married soon? I don't think any more of that. I love your girlfriend. I can do anything you want me to do. I would never go back with you again. In fact, I'm giving you 8.04 p.m. to leave my house. If not, you'll see what I'm going to do to you. Now, get out of here if not, I'll tell your girlfriend to call the police. You know, I will never forgive you for the hurt you just did to me. I don't care. I never want to see you again. I could never imagine you were going to kick me out like that. However, don't worry, even today, I will leave your house because I will no longer be able to remain in a relationship with a man like you. Great. Great. I am very happy because I finally managed to completely get Luke's heart. Now it is mine and mine alone. Now my next mission is to marry him as soon as possible. Truly, my soul is destroyed within me. I don't know why all my romantic relationships end up this way. Luke is the fifth man I had just broken up with. I don't know what to do anymore. I have to go back to my little brother's house, because I have nowhere to go. Plus, I don't even have any savings on me. If I knew our adventure was going to end like this, I should have put some money aside. I hope my brother will agree to forgive me. As I was telling you Mark, I am really sorry to have cut ties with you and with mom because of Luke. I admit that I did something bad to you. Please forgive me. You are my sister and I can only forgive you. But I need to tell you something. Go on, I'm listening to you. If I am not mistaken, Luke was the fifth man with whom you had just broken your relationship and they would like you to learn a lesson from that. You should know that it is not good for a Christian woman to start living under the same roof with a man who did not marry her. You are absolutely right. Because the five men I lived with really gave a damn about me. Because of them, I had abandoned the path of Christ. But today, I regret it so much. This is where I wanted to come, to live in a free union contrary to her Christian values and her desire to follow the biblical teachings on marriage and sexuality are not a good thing at all. You know, it was because of social and family pressure that I ran to get into a relationship with the first comer. I also wanted to live in luxury and have a man by my side. You are a Christian woman. You can't live your life based on others. You should focus on God and focus on your projects. You are absolutely right. But tell me what to do to find a good life partner. Finding a good partner is an important step in the lives of many people. Number one to find a good partner, you need to clarify your values and priorities. That means that before looking for a partner, it is essential to know what you are looking for in a relationship. And in this person, you need to take time to think about values, life goals, and the essential qualities you are looking for in the person. Number two. You have to work on yourself and tree you have to pray God who knows everything. What do you mean? You need to take time to develop your own qualities. You need to work on your personal growth. Cultivating passions is interested in new activities. A fulfilled person is conscious, 
generally attracts quality life partners. And finally you have to know that is God who blesses children. Wow. Thank you so much for all this information. You need to communicate effectively because communication is essential in a healthy relationship. You need to learn to listen carefully and to express feelings. Your needs and attentions in a clear and respectful manner. Amen. It is essential to pray in this process to ask for God's direction. Because prayer is essential when it comes to making important decisions, including choosing a life partner. You need to ask God to guide you and show you the person who is in line with his will for your life. Moreover, it is necessary for this person to fear God. He should love God more than you do. Like that. Once you are together in marriage, he won't be able to do certain things to you. Finally, I would say that finding a good life partner requires prayer, wisdom, and patience. By entrusting this request to God and following his principles, you will be on the way to finding a partner who will accompany you throughout your life, if is the will of God for you. Thank you very much my brother for this exhortation. I have taken good note. Starting today, I will put all your advice into practice and I will never again move into a man's house without being married. You got it all figured out, sister. I would advise you to pray in order to ask God for forgiveness, for having disobeyed his word and to ask him to restore you. Okay, I'll do that later. Okay, you know, you can stay here as long as you want. But don't forget to go see mom, because she is very worried about you. Okay, I'll go see her. Eternal Father, I am coming before you today. Recognizing my faults and my estrangement from your path, I ask your forgiveness for leaving the path you set out for me and for following my own selfish desires and choices. Lord, I recognize that I have sinned and that I need your mercy and love. I sincerely look back on all my actions and decisions that separated me from you. I regret having neglected my relationship with you, having succumbed to the temptations of the world, and having ignored your word. I know now that I need your love and direction in my life. Lord, please cleanse me of my sins and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I want to get back on your path and follow your commandments help me to give up my bad habits and turn to you. With all my heart, I also ask you to restore my relationship with you. Grant me the grace to feel your presence again and again in my life. Allow me to live in communion with you, obeying you and glorifying you in everything I do. Thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love and forgiveness. I pledge to follow you faithfully and to give you the first place in my life. Help me to grow spiritually, to be strengthened in my faith, and to walk on the path of justice and holiness. Father, I present this prayer to you and I believe that you can hear me. May this prayer of repentance be the starting point for spiritual renewal in my life. And back on your path, may your grace and mercy accompany me throughout my journey of faith. It was in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Dear sisters in Christ, no matter how old you are, Never partner with a man who has not honored you with the sacred bonds of marriage. Instead, seek to focus on your relationship with God by seeking His will. Strengthen your prayer life by studying God's Word and engaging in activities that nourish your spiritual growth. Don't worry about social pressure, cultural expectations. Do not compare yourself with others, but instead fix your eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. I encourage you to remain faithful to God, to trust Him, and to believe in His sovereignty. Above all, do not forget that God has a perfect time and that He knows the deepest desires of your heart. Look forward to fully experiencing the presence and actively preparing for marriage while submitting to God's will to the Lord. Please strengthen the faith of your children who hope in you day and night. It is your powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I pray to. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.